tryna stay fly What's good, everybody? Welcome to the Mouth and Out interview tour. Something big, something special, something exclusive. We are in Charlotte, North Carolina at the world famous Audio Box, home of the baby stun for Vegas and other familiar faces. Uh, right now, I'm here with Sunny Magic, man. Y'all already know what it is. CEO of Super Straight, we here. In the building. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today, bro. Yeah, man, appreciate that. <laughs> I know we that. Tapped, uh, tapped in online, man. I'm right. glad you were one of the artists that, um, you know, secured your spot. Right, right. We reached out to a lot of artists. We talked to a lot of artists and only a couple. Well, not a couple, but a lot. Or a few were serious. That's right, what I'm saying. right, right. <laughs> um, all right, so let's start off with your name. How, how did you get your name, bro? Well, Sunny Magic, it came from my big bro. You know, my big bro gave me that name. You know, he was incarcerated, and, you know, he was like, yo, I think your name should be Sunny Magic, bro. I was like, why you say that, bro? He was like, because I see something me and you, mm. so I'm just calling you Sunny Magic. And I was like, word, okay, that's was right it, with it. Was it something else before? Like, did you have a different nickname? or? Yeah, I, I used to go by Boo Boo. Okay. You know, that was a little childhood <laughs> yeah, nickname. Yeah. I used to, you know, go by my mom's gave me that name, and, you know. It, I ran with it all yeah. up to like 13, 14, and then I started going by Sonny. Sonny. Yeah. And then it said Sunny Magic. Sunny Where's the magic, magic come from? Cause the magic, spit man. Like magic, it's man. straight spit <laughs> like magic, man. You feel me? I just, just get this thing going, man, and okay. everything I say is straight magic, bro, and everything is real. You feel me? So that's what we at with it. Where you from? I'm from Montgomery County, man, but I resign in Rockingham. Okay. That's a little small town. It's called uh, Mount Gilead. Mm -hmm. We ain't got nothing about two, three stoplights, man. Oh, two stores. <laughs> Real country, man. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? So, yeah, that's where I'm from, bro. Okay. Um, Is there like a music scene there, any kind? Or do you got to travel out? We really got to travel out, man. what you're looking for. Yeah, you know what I'm man. Yeah, because it's really just dirt roads and mm -hmm. just country, man. <laughs> Pigs, yeah. chickens, all that shit. Jeez. You feel me? So, you know, it just, we got to travel to do our work. So you yourself, how did you uh, find yourself getting into music? Um, like, what was your household like? Were your parents playing music? Were they in the music at all, like rapping at all, well, singing, uh, or whatever? My parents grew up like in the church. You feel me? So I was grew up in the the church environment or whatnot. But I always was rapping at a young age. I started at like the age of six, seven. You know, rapping on the cassette tapes and you know just making music you feel me just doing what everybody else was doing yeah. and it just started from there do you got brothers sisters yeah i got two older brothers are that were they um yeah, that trying was to rap at all or anything like that or uh, music or anything like that they a freestyle here and there just to play around but it won't not nothing serious nothing, nothing um serious. were your friends rapping like i'm trying to see like yeah, just just like me, towards actually bro like growing up it won't nothing but two things I wanted to be. <laughs> okay. That was either in the NFL mm. or I wanted to be a rapper. Uh -huh. It won't nothing else. So you already had your mind up. I already right? had my mind up. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So I, I start making music on the cassette tape and just playing around with it with my cousins and stuff. And it just escalated from there. So we started doing it. Making it on a cassette tape, you know, we got the new age kids. Let's kind of break that down. How Man, did that the process? Cassette, <laughs> the cassette tapes, the 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 tape that you got you put it in the damn recorder yeah put it in there press record you start rapping on it and then you hit stop press play and there you go <laughs> there you That's go crazy, man man yeah it's crazy to think how technology and where we are now man because uh, i'm sure you lived through all of you know where we ain't even have phones and we were just getting phones and right, right. Wasn't what it was social media wasn't what it was um now that you know, social media is such a big thing. How do you kind of use that to your advantage? Well, really, I, I, I just promote myself. You know, I put all my time into promotion. Mm -hmm. You know, this is not a hobby to me. Mm -hmm. It's a job. You mm -hmm. feel me? So As I, it should be. I use all my, like, half of my day on promoting my music, you know, telling people to subscribe and 
just, you know, trying to get my music out there and let people hear me. You feel me? So that's where we at with it. Ah! Okay, so when did you get into your first studio? My first real studio I got real into. studio session. I can say at the age of 16. Wow. I got into my real studio. But it, I ain't going to say a real studio it was it a closet studio. studio. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that's still a step. Right, right, right. Yeah, I can say I really got into my, my real studio at the age of, of 16. Gotcha. Yeah. And I've been. pretty young still. You right, right. What? Yeah, you just wanted to get in it, or you had friends that was all. True. It was just, yeah, you know, you know how the people is, man. Everybody want to be rappers. Everybody want to be the Lil Wayne and the Gucci yes. Man and all that right. stuff. And you know, I would just be looking at people like, bro, I know you from growing up. Like, all this stuff that you're saying in your music ain't really adding mm -hmm. up. You feel me? So mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get these people something That's that great. they really <laughs> know what's going on out here. You feel me? Yeah, so. Yeah. That's where we at with it, bro. Nice. Um, what, if you had to describe your sound, how would you describe your sound? I'm trap rap. Trap rap. I'm trap rap. Okay. Um, is there any type of artist that people compare you to? Is there someone you get? Not really. They say I got my own sound. That's you good. feel me? But you know, it's just everything original. Everything is real. So I couldn't compare myself to nobody. I wouldn't say, or I, I, I don't think nobody compare me to nobody. Mm -hmm. They always say I have my own style, so that's I guess that's an A+. Plus. <laughs> yeah, that's that's an A+, plus, you feel me? So, yeah. Um, You're independent right now? Independent, man. I got my own label. Uh, own label. Super Straight Entertainment. Say it again? Super Straight Entertainment, super straight man. That's what we at with it. I'm the CEO, and, you know, I'm looking for new artists, new producers. You know, if you got what it goddamn takes, come join the team. Let's make millions. Is there, um, when you're looking for an artist, is there a particular sound that you're looking for, whether it be rap or whether it be, you know, they sing? All there? genres. All, All genres. genres. Yeah, I'm an artist. I don't consider myself a rapper. Okay. You feel me? I can get on anything. So, mm. yeah, that's what we have. So you look for all, anything. Anything. As long as it, I guess, picture. Get your ear, you know. Yeah. It, good entertainment. We do. So, are you open to signing an artist? Maybe they don't have the best music. But they have everything else, like the yeah, yeah. image. They got the energy, I guess. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm willing to work and you know help. That's that's what I'm here for. You right. feel me? Because I still need help and <laughs> work going on. You feel me? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind. What do you think it takes for an artist to go from, you know, zero to a hundred to basically making it? Like, what do you think um, it takes? That number one hit. So one song. That one, that one hit. One hit. That one hit. Now I put them there. That's okay. Gonna put them there. And then I, and it's gonna it's gonna take off after that. And then it's up to them to kind of sustain that. It's, it's up to them. It's up to them. Okay. One hit. There y'all go. One, one hit. hit. That's all. That's why I'm constantly working, man. I'm trying to find that one. You feel me? Once that one get here, we take it off. Do you have uh, any like dream collabs? Like, is there a, if you could get a feature from anybody, who would you get a feature from, basically? Right now or back then? Anybody. Uh, right now, I guess. Anybody, right now. Anybody. That's a lot. Mm, that's hard. That's though. a lot, I guess. Yeah, that's hard. <laughs> right now. One feature, anybody in the industry, money doesn't matter. You pick and choose. They saying yes. Who Since we I'm on trap rap, <laughs> and that's my content, I would say East G. East G. Let's go get this millions, man. Let's go make a hit one time. East G. East G, man. Come on, y'all better. East G, man. Come holler at me, bro. Okay. And, and to that same question, <clears throat> if we could go on tour with any artist. Now, that's different. We got to think about the energy. We got to think about the crowd, stage presence, all that. They got to bring all that. Who are we going on tour with? Okay. <laughs> the baby. The baby. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. Man. His concert is to go with the baby. Have you, have you seen him in concert or anything like that? Nah, I, I watched it on. I, yeah, I watched it. Yeah, he he go dumb. I, he go dumb, and Doing I fucks with him. With crazy, yeah, stuff. that's a fact. I fucks with him. Shout out to the baby man. You be got there killing them shows, bro. <laughs> How does it feel to have like someone like the baby or you know Black Zach, Two C, or even J Cole, Moray, them all just kind of shining light on the Carolinas? Just giving me more motivation, man. Mm -hmm. Just giving me like I know I know I'm right there. Cause his eyes out here, 
Exactly. And that's what they want, real music. And I'm here to bring them real music. You feel exactly. me? Exactly. So I'm here, man. And I ain't going nowhere. I ain't stopping. Y'all going to remember me. Y'all going to remember this face, man. Sunny Magic. I'm remember here to stay. Remember this interview. You feel me? Remember this interview. We on mouth and out. You feel me? Exactly. So remember this interview, man. We here. Um, do you think, you know, with their success, it's still possible to blow in this area? Or do you feel like, uh, you know, you might still need to go to Atlanta or a bigger city or something like that? Um, I feel like I feel like it's a chance to still blow here. It's just you got to work and, and network. Mm -hmm. That's all it's about. Networking and working. Constantly working, staying mm -hmm. consistent. Mm -hmm. Ain't no other way around it. Mm -hmm. Do you have a manager or anything like that? Um, I I, I kind of like it's kind of iffy team, right now. Yeah, I kind I got a team. You know, it, it's really family though. You know, it ain't really no outsiders right now. It's just yeah, yeah. basically family. Right. Okay. So, do you know what an elevator pitch is? Explain to okay. that. I'm about to break it down to you. So, I'm about to paint this scenario. Uh, paint a scenario, okay? And so, within that scenario, what I'm going to have you do <coughs> is I'm going to have you pitch yourself to label executives on why they should sign you to their label, okay? And you have one minute to do so, okay? So here's the scenario, here's the storyline, okay? We're in a big skyscraper, okay? Corporate building, we're at the top floor, okay? The top floor, we getting on the elevator, I'm there, you're there. Um, then all of a sudden we got uh, Jay-Z Rock Nation executives on the elevator, we got Drake, OVO executives, um, the who's who's in this elevator, basically. Okay? So now as we're coming down on this elevator, you got one minute to pitch to them while they're there, why they should sign you. Fucks with your music. Ready? And go. Yeah, man. I think y'all should mess with me. You know, I'm a real bottom boy. Everything that I do, I speak with volumes. This shit is not in me. It's on me. You know, we're going to take this and we're going to make millions. Y'all see what y'all looking at? And I can make y'all make sense. You feel me? That's all we're trying to do out here. Make sense. And we're trying to keep the entertainment up. So make sure y'all pick me, Sunny Magic, because I'm the one to be. And we here. There we go. And just in case, like, a manager or one of the executives come across this interview, how can they tap in with you? Like, what's your social media? You can follow me on IG underscore sunny magic s-u-n-n-y m-a-g-i-x facebook sunny straight s-u-n-n-y s-t-r-a-i-g-h-t and we here so how did the pandemic affect you bro like the way you move and everything it really didn't affect me none i still had motion you feel me but it was just slow motion mm -hmm. but slow motion is better than no motion you feel me so yeah it really didn't slow me down at all did you have to change up? Uh, I mean, were you still outside, kind of moving around? Oh, yeah, I'm always outside. I was too. I I'm always <laughs> outside. I ain't going nowhere, man. For real. Um, did it, but did it change? Cause you know, I guess even though you were outside, still, not as many other people were outside. So did it kind of change how you interacted with people or how you oh, yeah. message out? Yeah, definitely. What, what are definitely. some of the things that you did to kind of stay, I guess, relevant or whatever? Staying in my own lane. I used to hang with twenty niggas. On the daily, every day, every day. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Now it's down to two, three niggas. Mm. So, you know, do you people that, change. I was about to say, do you think that comes with time? Just like everybody has their own direction. People, R Yeah. <laughs> Growing up, man, yeah. people got to find their own direction and know which way to go. Either you're going to go down the right path or you're going to go down the wrong path. Gotcha. You feel me? So it's all up to you. Facts. That's a big fact. Um... Okay, and you said you got some shows coming up. We yeah, man. Coming up. Uh, What's coming up? Uh, October the 23rd, man, I will be in Charlotte. It's a private location area. I'm going all the way up with my boy Trap, you know. That's my dog, man. He fought with Bootsy real tough, you know, so we finna turn that bitch up. Uh, That's on the uh, 23rd of October. Okay. And then November the 6th, uh, I will be at the fairground in Albemarle, North Carolina. And we're going to turn that bitch all the way up then, November the 6th. So make sure y'all pop out. If y'all around the area, y'all come out and turn up with me, man. We're going to make a movie. Do you already have, like, your set in mind that you'll be performing or anything like that? Or songs, I guess. I got a couple songs. Uh, this new single that I just dropped, like, a few weeks ago 
called uh Pronto. I'm gonna be performing that. Um that's uh, out. yeah, that's out already on all platforms. Yeah, yeah, man. Go get that called Pronto, man. Make sure y'all go get that. Uh, another one, Green Light. Uh that's on all platforms. Make sure y'all go get that. Um, then I'm gonna drop that LLC remix by Money Man, yo. See. Shout out to Money Man, yo. I did that. I killed that. You feel me? And I'm gonna drop that on the uh, on the six as well. So I'm gonna perform that that night. So yeah, man. Make sure y'all come out and come fuck with me, bro. I'm out here. For sure, man. And uh, so you got videos out too, right? Yeah, man. Make so sure. To a yeah, video, man. man. We, to all of that. Now we we can definitely get that <laughs> popping, man. I'm gonna make sure y'all got them. See what's going on with a real one, man. We outside. It is if we could send them the one video, they have one chance to watch, one song, one music video. What music video are we sending them to? We are gonna send them to while we hustle. While we hustle. While we hustle. What's that about? While we hustle. Hell yeah, I'm from the gutter, nigga. Ain't nobody asking for shit. Yeah, we hustle, nigga. Fuck a hand out, we get it off the muscle, nigga. Fuck the mother, niggas. We all about money, nigga. Cause that's <laughs> what all we about, man. We all about that money, you feel me? So make sure y'all go check out that video, man, while we hustle. Who did you collab with? Uh, well, like, what director or videographer did you collab uh, with? It was one of my cousins, man. He he be uh, shooting videos and stuff. His name Bootsy Dawkins, shout you out. know. So shout out to Bootsy, man. Be Supremes, man. And yeah, we did that. And what's in the video? Kind of talk about the concept, what are, what they'll see in the video. Really, they'll just see me, like, really in the hood, man, where I'm, where I'm from, where I resigned at. They'll see the struggle. They'll see, like, my area where I be and, like, where I'm coming from. So that's what they'll see in that video. All right. Y'all definitely go check that yeah, out. Yeah, man, go man. check that out, man. Make sure y'all check that out. Run the views up. Run the streams up. Fact. That's a fact. So I got this segment called One Piece of Advice. Okay, yeah. so now what I want you to do is give one piece of advice, uh, or I'm gonna ask a question, and you're gonna give one piece of advice to these type of, of people. Could be the world as a whole, it could be a group of people, it could be one person. Okay, <clears throat> all right, so the first question is give one piece of advice to um, up and coming rappers trying to make it in the industry. Don't stop, keep going, man. Because it's going to take that one thing, that one song, and it's going to blow, man. And you're going to take off, and you're going to get whatever you've been dreaming. It's going to be there. You're going to be able to take care of your family, your moms, your kids, whatever the case may be, man. You're going to be there. So keep working, keep grinding, and keep striving. Okay. <laughs> now give one piece of advice to your hometown. We're going to make it. <laughs> okay. We gonna make. It. Here we go. Don't worry about it. We gonna make. It. Okay. Um. Give one piece of advice to twenty-one year old you. Twenty-one year old. Twenty-one me. year old you. Where were you? What was you doing? Give one piece of advice to that guy. Mm, that's a hard one right there, boy. Woo. A lesson learned. A lesson learned. A lesson Elaborate learned. Elaborate on that a little more. A lesson learned. 21 year old me, mm -hmm. I was outside, boy. <laughs> he said, I, I was outside, <laughs> boy. You hear me? Okay. I mean, in and out of jail, mm -hmm. months, mm -hmm. million dollar bonds. <laughs> Police trying to say we attempted murder Lord. on them. You oh, feel me? <laughs> All <laughs> kinds of shit, bro. Like a lesson learned. You feel mm -hmm. me? But just keep going. Don't stop. Keep going, yeah. You feel me? Because we can beat all obstacles exactly. and overcome all obstacles. Exactly. And we're going to make it. Exactly. Let's go. There we go. Um, go ahead and drop your social media one more time, bro. Yeah, underscore Sunny Magic on IG, underscore S-U-N-N-Y-M-A-G-I-X, Facebook, Sunny Straight, S-U-N-N-Y-S-T-R-A-I-G-H-T. And we here, man, big CEO, super straight shit. And then just any last words or anybody you want to shout out, anything before we kind of get out. First off, I want to say rest in peace to my pops. I love you, daddy. For sure. For you sure. know, I'm here. I'm going to make you proud. Keep watching over me, my dog. You feel me? I know you're here with me. I want to say I love you, mama. I want to say shout out to my kids. Your daddy going to make y'all proud, and we're going to be here. You feel me? So don't worry about nothing. I want to shout out to my cousin, Walt. 
I want to shout out to my cousin Black Bands, my cousin Noah for goddamn pulling up with me. I just want to shout out the whole family, man. You feel me? Just, just goddamn be patient with me. We're going to make it. There you go. Let's go. All right. This is Adrian Nice. Mouthing out. Please be sure to like, yeah. share, comment, subscribe. Tap in with my boy. Tap Check in with me, man. Music. For run real. Run the streams up. Run the Run them bitches up. Run it all. Run them up, man. Run it up. Who's saying boat? Who's saying boat out here? You feel me? Who's saying boat? Run them all. You feel me? For real. And, uh, you know, uh, this is Mouthing Out. Let's go. We are out. Let's get it. Peace. Stay fly.